My channel is a nice place to find ideas about the trading card game mm -hmm. Me and my friends at the table playing cards and buying packs, it's all the same Come on over and play the bash two out of three And trust me, I'll give you some tips Now do some trades and maybe buy a collection box And pull some sweet cards And now I'm thinking like, no, I don't want a regular rare I want a full art for the world to see Come on now, pull what I need I may be crazy, don't mind me, say wait All my money is gone Guardians Rising's got the best out of me Come on now, pull what I need Coordinator is what I need Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the brand new set I keep on buying packs to get a GX Although my wallet is finished I'm in love with the set Last night I opened some packs And now I put a GX in my deck Every day learning new strategies, it's sick I'm in love with the set Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why I'm in love with the set Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why I'm in love with the sad. Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why? I'm in love with the sad. Every day learning new strategies, it's sick. I'm in love with the sad. What's up, YouTube? It's Sadoz TCG here, and welcome to episode 114, which is all about the Ninja Turtle itself, the Fire Ninja Turtle, Tortonator GX. This is a massive amount of HP that this Pokemon has. It has 190, just the same as Lapras GX, and you know how hard it is to knock this one out in one blow. So, yeah, that amount of HP is awesome. You can add it up to 100, uh, actually to 230 with the Fighting Fury Belt. So, uh, yeah, that is awesome. Another thing to notice here, it's a fire attack. Fire is awesome nowadays because yeah uh, the Sidewide GX is annoying everyone with sniping and file plume so uh, yeah being a fire type is always nice to, uh, yeah and the format also Laurentus GX uh, see some play here and there and uh, there's also Vespiquin but that uh, yeah Vespiquin does not have a, a large amount of HP so that doesn't even matter so yeah having a fire type on your side is always great it has a, an attack for a double cardless energy so it can be kind of uh, can be kind of splashable but uh, yeah I would prefer it to put it in a Volcanian deck because it can be an ideal support Pokemon the bad thing about this card, it has a 3 retreat cost, so if it gets Lysander, it's definitely stuck in the active position without Olympia, Switch or Escape Rope, because uh, yeah, uh, 3 retreat cost is not good, even if you attach a double Carlos energy, you cannot get it out of the active position with an energy attachment, so uh, you have to be careful when uh, this guy is on your bench without a float stone. Also, it has a weakness to water, this is something I don't like, because yeah, the Guardians Rising set brings new life to water decks with Aqua Patch, so uh, water will definitely be around, but then again, it's kind of a rock paper scissor thing where uh, fire destroys uh, the grass types the grass types destroy, destroy the water types and the water types of course destroy the fire type so uh, yeah it's a weakness but it's always there for fire types so uh, yeah we just take it with it <laughs> okay now to the attacks it has an attack for double cardless energy trap shell it deals 20 damage and if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack during your opponent's next turn place eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon I can uh, yeah, see a lot of things happening here. Let's say a uh, Vespiquen uh, attacks you. Well, uh, if you already use that attack on a Vespiquen and they use that attack, actually they get knocked out because if they touch you, they get eight damage counters and certain Pokemon like that have a low amount of HP. So putting eight damage counters on attacking Pokemon is a really, really nice thing to do with a double Carlos energy because you can even say that for double Carlos energy, you deal 100 damage. So that is awesome. You can even add that damage up with Bursting Balloon because if they attack attack you with bursting balloon attached they receive 14 damage counters if you use that attack so uh, just uh, think about that that's a lot of damage counters just for sitting there as a defensive uh, wall uh, for double Carlos energy that is not bad in my book now to the other attacks it has Crimson Flame, 160 damage. You have to discard two fire energies attached to this Pokemon. You can use Burning Energy for uh, just to prevent that or just swap around to the Baby Volcanion and get those energies back from the discard like that. 160 damage, not a bad attack at all. With Choice Band, you can add it up to 190. So that is a, a decent amount of damage right there. Okay, now to the Nitro Tank GX move. It attaches five fire energies from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So if you use that at the beginning of the game, you have a really nice thing going uh, energy acceleration maybe putting it all on a on a flurry on for an extreme amount of damage or just spreading it around to your other types so that is definitely a great uh, way to use your uh, yeah uh, uh, Tortinator GX also when you use a GX move there's also a new supporter uh, that is definitely a really nice option for you because uh, if you use a 
next move early game. Ahala can be the supporter for you. Shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw seven cards if you already use the GX move. Otherwise, you only get four cards. So definitely uh, try to consider that when you're playing with the Nitro Tank GX move. Okay, now that I review the card, I think this card is perfect as a one-off and a Volcanian deck because this can be the ideal stall card or maybe yeah in the late game uh, if they attack you they receive damage counters then you swap around to someone that can deal the last amount of damage and poof you got yourself a win there just because Tordonator was the defensive Pokemon you wished for. Also that Nitro Tank GX move is the GX move that the Volcanian decks are missing nowadays. People play Tauros in the deck just to ninja boy it well maybe this can be better as uh, late game energy attachments uh, just getting all the energies back into your play even if your Volcanians are knocked out so that you can uh, yeah sure that this move will be used so it's a really nice card and I just uh, think it deserves its own episode you can also put it in other decks that uh, have double card energy why not test it out it deals 20 damage so uh, in addition with that if you have like a, a choice band or something uh, like that maybe a muscle band and expanded you can just attach it to him and then deal super effective damage uh, for the knockouts to things like Oddish and Rowlet those weak Pokemon or maybe Fomantis with a muscle band and expanded this can be actually used to, to knock out those Pokemon but uh, talking about more about standard format if you play double Carlos energies maybe you can test it out uh, it can be an ideal wall just at the beginning of the game giving it a DCE dealing 20 damage and uh, just wait for your opponent to receive damage counters while you just Use your float zone and swap around to something else okay to finish the job of course uh, yeah, what else is there to talk about? Yeah, uh, with this card, uh, I already mentioned that uh, you can just uh, put it in a Volcanian deck So there's no need to talk about uh, other decks that could use it. It's kind of splashable with the double cards energy attachment So uh, definitely try it out Tordinator GX and now moving on to the uh, the Poké News segment in this episode There is a new Tapu Lele scam. Uh, this is actually kind of a neat Tapu Lele. It has 110 HP It's a non GX one it deals 20 damage uh, times the number of energy attached to uh, your opponent's active Pokemon for a single Psychic Energy. This can be quite nice to destroy Mega Mewtwo, so uh, that's that. Also, and Poké News, yeah guys, there's something coming here. The Best of XY series is announced for Japan on release on April 19, which means that the uh, Japan, uh, uh, yeah, everybody in Japan gets a reprint of the best cards of X and Y, including Double Dragon, VS Seeker, Shaman, you name it, Eveltal, Mega Mewtwo, all the best cards get reprinted there. So uh, if uh, it gets released in Japan, maybe you can see an English release as well, but if that happens, you can uh, yeah, uh, bet your ass that some people will like it, other will, others will hate it because uh, Eveltal will be around once again. It has been around since ages, but uh, we'll see. We'll have to see if they re reprinted it in uh, the English format as well. Okay, next on we have the Mimikyu collection box with uh, the pin collection. It uh, comes with three booster packs and uh, a, a nice looking uh, Mimikyu promo card. And uh, yeah, that pin, that pin is just awesome. Look at that. You definitely want to have that uh, on your backpack strapped on. <laughs> okay. The thing to notice here in this box as well is that you get two Sun and Moon packs and one Fates Collide. It looks like they are promoting Fates Collide uh, nowadays. Also, the Sun and Moon Collector's Chest tin is out nowadays and uh, you can just buy it. It comes with a ton of stuff like, uh, yeah, I think five booster packs, uh, some uh, promo cards from Viralit, Litten and Poplio. Uh, yeah, that ch uh, looking uh, chest uh, there where you can just put in some stuff. Two sticker sheets featuring the Alolan starters, so Galea, Lunala. So a lot of things in this uh, package, even notepad and four pencils, a mini album. So if you're, uh, yeah, uh, beginning with Sun and Moon, definitely try out one of those boxes. It uh, gets your collection to a whole other level <laughs> straight from the bat. Talking about more collection boxes, Mega Tyranitar EX gets its premium collection box with a Tyranitar Spirit Link, a Mega Tyranitar and a Tyranitar. So that is actually kind of a reprint uh, from the uh, one in the set. And uh, you def definitely get some sweet booster packs in this package. Uh, just like the Kingdra, Scissor and other uh, EX boxes out there. This is just something you will see at your local Target, Walmart and you say, wow, Tyranitar, it's an awesome Pokemon, why not get it? You get a pin, you get a coin, you get booster packs. It's just fun times like that. All right, uh, talking about more of these boxes, Beware gets his own box as well. The Beware, Beware GX box comes with, uh, yeah, actually a lot of uh, Guardians Rising packs, so that is awesome. A Sun and, and a Sun and Moon pack as well, so, and Breakthrough. So, uh, uh, kind of a nice variety of packs. That Beware GX is definitely something to look forward to because it's kind of uh, interesting to see. 
Uh, next up, the Tapu Koko collection box. A lot of boxes are coming out, as, as well with the pin, uh, where you can just strap it on your backpack, on your shirt, whatever. And uh, yeah, it comes with that Tapu Koko, that which I reviewed on the last video, the regular one, the rare with free retreat. So. Yeah, that was it for another episode. This is a uh, yeah, kind of a short episode because I'm preparing for the uh, top deck tournament. If you don't know what the top deck tournament is, it's uh, where I will be uh, playing with eight decks and we'll see who comes out on top as the main victor. It is the best two out of three matches, so definitely check that video out. Uh, I'll explain everything there. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed another TCG video uh, yeah, where I rap, where I uh, analysis of a card and Poke News, of course. If you did, definitely show your support by destroying the like button and uh, yeah, uh, show your thoughts and the comment section below i'm always interested to uh yeah know what you are thinking about the new cards that are coming out or what the uh, tortinator gx means to you in the future anyways have an awesome day guys and see you guys soon with more tcg videos peace out